Welcome back to another episode of the Posture Podcast, Quarantine Edition, I guess. I guess so. This is, what, episode 8 now? I, I think so. Uh, as you may be able to hear, Max is on the phone right now, so that's how we're going to do this episode. No video. Yeah, be- because obviously, you know, school's closed and we can't really get together, so. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. We're going to try this out, see how it works. Mm-hmm. And obviously... We have to talk about Corona, what we've been doing, how it's been working out, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, Max, I haven't seen you in a while. What have you been doing? Yeah, so, I feel like with most people, my parents got coronaphobic pretty quickly. Yeah. And so, I've been um, waking up late, you know, mm, walking yeah. my dog. Uh, those are really nice, because, you know, with this, like, stay-at-home thing... If it ever gets into quarantine, you know, you're not let out unless you can, like, you yeah. know, you're allowed to walk your dog, right? Yeah. So, that's been really nice, because it lets me get out of the house, yeah. uh, like, walk an yeah. hour, hour and a half, you know? Yeah. Stuff like that. Also been binging plenty of, you know, TV, yeah. right? Yeah, that's all you can do now. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm lucky my family's got Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Video, yeah, our oh. our family, funny enough, like, a month or two ago, we, like, just got Netflix just in time. Yeah. So, now I have something to do. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I've been, me and my brother, we've been going outside lately, which has been nice. Front yard, backyard. We, yeah. yeah, we've been just hanging around. Like, the weather's turned up lately, which is nice. Really? Which is good and bad. Yeah, I know, because you can't do anything, <laughs> but, like can't do anything with anybody else but yeah yeah it's hard because uh normally what takes up most of my day would be gymnastics practice afterwards that'd be like what happens with me if i don't have school but obviously that's uh that ended too so i have nothing to do yeah it's the same thing with my soccer is that a while back man like two three four maybe even a month ago it was like the soccer indoor soccer season is ending and they completely they're like the last practices are canceled the last games are canceled because of this coronavirus and then we had a tournament in st louis that got canceled and our spring season is like been delayed i don't even know if we'll have one but yeah like it's messing up everything yeah it is even the olympics have you heard they're postponing the olympics Oh my god, yeah, they're postponing the Olympics. Literally everything in soccer is postponed. Yeah, everything There's, everywhere. Yeah. It's who it's it's gone bad and like and even like we've been hand most people have been handling it pretty well now and now that a lot of yeah. the panic has died down a little bit. Still no toilet paper but you know <laughs> but that's, some, that's to be expected. Yeah. yeah. Uh which what's really interesting is there's a stay-at-home order, right? So people are pretty much, you know, everyone's at home, working from home, not going to school, right? Yeah. When I walk my dog, I do it at noon pretty much every day, and then at, like, 6 or 7. You would be so surprised how many people are out and about. Yeah, I know. I've noticed that. It's really weird. Because yesterday, I saw, we I was, we were hanging out, we were hanging out in the in our front yard, and then I looked over down the street, and there were three different groups of people. Each had like three or four people in them, and they were all and they all converged on one spot, and they were trying to find a way around each other. <laughs> they were all because they're all going in different directions, but they kept converging on the same spot, so they kept trying to like get away from each other. Yeah, my mom actually showed me this article. Basically, there's this app or the company or something that's ranking all these like states and counties on how good they are at this social distancing thing oh yeah illinois had like a c overall okay that's not bad that's bad oh but wait Lake, oh Lake county compared what other uh, people have so i think um it was really funny i think like nevada vermont and stuff have like an a oh god so yeah, we're not doing very good. Yeah, cause, but, I, cause you see groups of people everywhere. Yeah, but I think Wyoming was doing like if they were either doing really good or really terrible. They either had an A or an F, but I can't yeah. remember which one. 
in F, that's just like they didn't change anything. Yeah, but it's Wyoming. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, like, there's not. Are there. How many people are in Wyoming? 500,000. Yeah, okay. So. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, so I've been finding stuff to do, just been, like, messing around. Uh, I've been cooking more with my dad, I guess. Oh, yeah, I'm same here with my mom. I just made pizza. Oh. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. And, like, I would... And it's funny, because one of the more exciting things to do would be going to the park, because, like, I have a park that's, like, five-minute walk away. But, obviously, <laughs> the park's uh, always touching everything, and you're like, ugh. Actually, yeah, I was walking my dog today. There was a guy, like, from the BG Park District. He was going around, and he was using caution tape and roping off playgrounds. Really? Yeah, like, oh. everything. Wow. Yeah, it's getting, like, because I think people have gotten less stressed out about it lately. People have gotten more calm and, like, organized and started figuring out what, like, their system. But there's still some uh, worry around it. Well, yeah, there's still, you know, like you said, toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, still toilet paper. <laughs> but I, I never understood that because I, I guess it's, I, I'm guessing it has to do with um, something that happens. My mom was telling us a story about she went shopping and then she saw this one person, she, like, they, like, looked at their list and said, oh, no, I forgot cashews. So they ran back and got cashews. Like, six other people saw them do that and just thought to themselves, oh, that's a good idea. And, like, six, seven people just ran and got cashews. Yeah. So I'm guessing one person got toilet paper and then everyone was like, oh, that's a good idea. They yeah. just, like, chased them. I saw this joke that was, like... So, it was a picture of people doing that, like, you know, Halloween, you know, wrap yourself in toilet paper, oh. you know, that mummy contest, right? Yeah. So, if this is how people are protecting themselves from coronavirus, no uh -huh. wonder they need so much toilet paper. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a strategy. It's a strat. Yeah. Okay. But I feel like there was one person, one idiot, who was like, geez, we might get quarantined. I need to stock up on toilet paper so I don't run out. <laughs> everyone... And everyone else was like... Oh, yes, of course. I saw another picture of someone who had two carts full, full, full to the brim, and then some, and then like two feet over the top of the cart Gee. full of toilet paper. Why? And he's like, take, you're like, that's bound to get taken by somebody. Somebody's just gonna like gently lift that above your cart. And yeah, at least. And, and my mom, she made, like, an alliance with this one guy. So they would take yeah. turns watching each other's carts so no one t took anything. And then this dude, at the end, he said, oh, I forgot uh, paper towels. So he ran back, got paper towels. He, there were paper towels. And when he was running back, it turns out he brought her one, my mom one, too, for no reason. He was like, you know what, there, were, there was another one, so I brought you one, too. And I was like, okay. Paper oh, towels? <laughs> I was like, paper towels? And we already have a bunch. So I don't know what to... I know. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Like, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh. Oh, no. I was going to say something about toilet paper or paper towels, but I can't remember. About how, like, someone grabbed paper towels? It might have been that. Oh, I, I don't know. But, uh... Oh, dang, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, uh, uh-oh. Um, oof. Ooh. Now we are stuck. Uh, I don't know why I'm blanking so hard on words. I know. <laughs> I, uh, I had something about toilet paper. I remember that much. Oh, yeah, and I remember what I was going to say. Uh, did you hear that it's extended to, like, April 7th or something? Yeah, we were supposed to get back on April 6th, but now I guess we'll get back on April 8th. Yeah, they least. yeah they keep moving it. Because I heard somewhere that uh, they're, like, they're, it's long, it's going to go for longer than they expected. Yeah, yeah, Originally, yeah. yeah, definitely. And it's gotten, like, my, my brother, he has nothing to do anymore. So he started for, and he wanted a hobby, so he decided to invest in stocks. So 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 he's just been watching the stock market, and that's like all we have. Which is, and I've heard the stock market is going like 
Yeah, it's going up. Going up now? Uh, just starting today, I think. It started going up. But yeah, oh, it was I... bad. Yeah, because it was bad. Yeah. We invested in... He invested in Spirit, because that's one of the airlines that are me, that are getting... <laughs> That are getting uh, oofed on. Yeah. All the planes, ha- all the airlines are getting, uh, are having a rough time. And I-, I think they changed it. I think they made an exception. But in the beginning, one thing that was really hurting airlines was that uh, for, some- for most airports, yeah. uh, you have to have a certain num- Each airline has to have a certain number of flights leaving and coming in. Yeah, or to, else they like lose their yeah, spot exactly. at the airport. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think they, about that. I think yeah. they changed it though. Really? Well, that uh, would make sense. But yeah, yeah I saw this uh, video about it wasn't actually on the coronavirus at all. It was a couple months ago. There was this one like uh, airline that like needed this spot in London. I think London Airport, and they needed the spot, but no one wanted to fly from like London to somewhere in France. So they flew a ghost flight. Cause yeah, I've, I know they do that. It's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's a lot, and that's a lot of money for like fuel and all yeah, that's that. A ton of money lost. And yeah, so they definitely changed that so that, and that may be one of the reasons uh, airline stocks are doing better. Probably. Yeah. So it's like the stock market's not perfect yet, but it's doing it's it's doing better. I've heard. <laughs> yeah so yeah that's just one like sign that things are turning up and there's not there's not a whole lot of uh there's concern in illinois but i think we've been handling it pretty well i think so everything got closed really early <laughs> yeah yeah so like there hasn't been a lot of i don't how, i don't know how many more cases have been confirmed after all the closures um, I think in Illinois we're up to like fifteen, sixteen hundred. Yeah, I don't remember how many more were after the thing, but it seems to not be going too bad, like compared to say New York or something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I I think we handled it pretty good. We are quick to yeah. respond. And let's let's see. Um, I'm looking it up right now. Okay. Uh, but. How many cases total U.S.? Because I know we're around 1,500 in Illinois. Washington Post says more than 50,000 cases. Okay. And has killed more than 1,000 people. Yeah, that's not like... That's not as bad as people were thinking it was going to be. But then they also say that it hasn't reached its peak yet. Like, in China, they're actually, you know... Yeah, they're on the decline, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's I get that's good, but they still got like that financial problem that they're gonna get pressured by everybody else. Yeah, For, and, but then like you look at Italy, Italy's still getting worse. Yeah, no, they're they're off to a, and still at a bad place. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. people have been doing their best, I'd say, and uh, and spirits not like the airline, but spirits have been. Uh, I think spirits have been higher. I think so. I think people are kind of starting to realize that this whole stay-at-home quarantine business is it's, working. Yeah, and it's especially not... Especially with all this, like, flattened the curve. Yeah, it's not going to be as bad as they think. Yeah. So, like, I think it's all I think it's all going to work out. I hope so. What would suck, at least what I think would suck, is that, you know, we get to, like, April 2nd or something, Illinois is still, you know, experiencing this, like, really, really, like we're still going up and yeah. then they quarantine us and yeah. schools the late even further yeah i know that would be bad because right now i don't know if we have extra days in summer yet because i think we i think they used emergency days for us they did yeah I and then so. now we're at spring break these emergency days so and we have um e-learning so i don't think as so far Currently, we're not going to have any extra... I don't think we're going to have any extra days. Extra, extra days. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we're lucky because we have e-learning. People want... We have friends in Texas that are going to have to add on to summer. Oh. I mean, but in Texas, I don't know if it's like a whole bad thing because you can go outside and it's nice anytime. Pretty much. So well, we would, we would consider it nice anytime. 
Yeah. But, you know, obviously with the coronavirus... Yeah, you can't really go nice out. Now. Yeah, you can't really go out. Ah. So, so then what have you been doing? Obviously baking, cooking, yeah. or... Have yeah. Have you been doing uh, anything we, good? Yeah, we've been baking a lot. Uh, yeah. Like brownies, cornbread. Oh. Yeah, cooking, baking, uh, occasional homework. Well, mostly Any homework. banana bread? Oh, uh, no, not yet. That's soon. Coming <laughs> soon. Not, we're saving that. We're saving that for a special occasion. Yeah, I... Uh, I yeah. And then, so, uh, what we, what else we did is we brought out, uh, the mountain bikes, and so I'm able oh. to, like, like, in the evening when there's less people around, what I've been doing is I've been riding around. Nice, and, nice. So that's, yeah, I made, um, cookies, oatmeal cranberry, because we didn't uh, have raisins. Uh, e. Like, they weren't in the store, apparently. My oh, mom really? said, like, raisins. They oh, were geez. totally out of raisins. Yeah, really? Nobody wanted yeah. the craisins, though? Yeah, it was, it was whack, but... <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> going... That. Anything that's dry, they'll take. Probably, because, like, it's going to last. Yeah. We had cranberries, like, in the back of our pantry <laughs> that were supposed to expire in 2012. <laughs> I reached in the bag took tasted one <laughs> and then i reached in the bag of the totally new cranberries tasted one and there was no difference <laughs> you think <laughs> until you like I die th- in a few days <laughs> <laughs> well that was uh, five days ago i think i haven't oh, died yet. okay so you're still so, good i think it's good one so, of the yeah. biggest problems with not having uh practice though is that everyone was worried that like because without proper training and without really good conditioning we weren't gonna be able we're not gonna be like be ready to get back and we're all gonna be really weak and fat <laughs> so I've seen plenty of memes about yeah this. so our yeah. coach came up with this thing on this app called zoom it's like yeah. house party zoom yeah yeah and then so yeah we've just been doing conditioning on zoom so he has yeah. us like doing exercises on F- facetime or whatever yeah so my coach or the entire um the entire club actually they started this um kind of challenge where you have to even though you're kind of stuck at home what you do is there's like they downloaded this app and this app challenges you to do different skills like soccer skills Uh and then record yourself and you get points and our coach has also told us yeah like there's certain exercises you should do He's not monitor- monitoring us or making us do Zoom yeah, or anything. But he's like, like, do this. Yeah, but yeah. It's not like, yeah, he's just been like kind of. So we've been keeping up with conditioning relatively well. It's going to feel weird going back after so long. But, uh. Yeah. But I, I think we'll be decently okay. I think everyone thing will be fine and schoolwork. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, I just, I haven't done any of the e learning, but I glanced over it. And honestly, it looks like pretty much what we would regularly do in school. Yeah, it yeah it is. It's just like homework. And I I was I got through, I think I did day one of math. I I'm waiting. So my big thing is I, I'm telling everyone that I'm not doing e learning yet because it's not that's not the set days for it. Yeah. But in reality, I'm just procrastinating. Yeah, I know. I remember I did the first. I did day one of math. And after that, I looked through, and I saw, and I saw, for a science class, that day two was a test. What? There, there's like a test, yeah. Yeah, but how how does he do that? Do it's you... like a Schoology test, I think. Uh, oh. Did on like, you just look up the answer? On the I don't know. I guess on on the I don't know if you can leave or not. On the moon, it was like on moon phases or whatever, and then. Yeah, and I looked at it, and I said, you know what? I think I should do it when they want me to do it. Yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> but, like... It's what they want. Yeah. They would have said it for earlier anyways. Yeah, if they wanted... I mean, if they wanted me to do it earlier, they would have told me to do it earlier. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I've just been doing that, and there's, like... There's not a lot. It's funny, because there's not... A lot of interesting things going on, obviously. Yeah. 
oh, my mom's having us clean the house, like everything about the house. Oh yeah, my mom had us do that as soon as, as soon as it was told that we wouldn't be having school that weekend. She was just like, "We're gonna clean the entire house. If we're gonna be stuck in here, we better make it look nice." Yeah, I know. I I had to completely. Uh, I have like these. I have like a bunch of shelves in my room. I had to like take everything off and completely reorganize it. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna. I think we're doing the garage today. Fun. Yeah, I know. In the garage is an absolute mess. Oh. So I know how we're gonna. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Have fun. Yeah, I know. Have fun. My be the most exciting to... thing this today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My sister. I remember. We had to clean her room. Everyone had to pitch in, cause she's so messy. She has a desk <laughs> in there, right? <laughs> uh, un- under and around that desk and her bed, there were so many loose papers. Half of them didn't even have anything on it, but they were just so bent or wrinkled. Or it was crazy. I spent like ten minutes just picking up papers from around the room. <laughs> <laughs> now that's that's my way of doing it. When I have something that I like, trying to clean my room. I just, I have, like, boxes, and I have, and I have, like, drawers. I just put everything. My room looks pretty clean on the outside, but when you, like, go inside the boxes and the drawers, they're, they're so messy. Oh, my God, yeah, same. Yeah, that's, like, my way of doing it. It's funny because it looks clean, then you look in the drawers, and it's messy. But if you needed me to find something, then I know where it is. Yeah, I know. For me, if if you need me to find something, I know which either box it's in or drawer it's in. I don't know where it is yeah, in the drawer, the but like, I know that it's like somewhere here. <laughs> yeah, so, you yeah. know. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have like three, two, three minutes before I have to log on for this conditioning, but I have time. I have a little bit of yeah. time left. Mm-hmm. And this has been a good idea to continue the podcast. Keep our so. yeah, to keep our viewers entertained. Obviously with this quarantine content. Yeah, you gotta have something to do. Yeah, so then um to to kinda keep up that yeah. what have you been watching? Uh, do you have any recommendations? I don't know. No podcast. recommendations, because I'm kind of behind on this, but I've been watching The Office lately. Ooh, yeah, I finished that. I was binging it as soon as it came out. As soon as quarantine started or whatever, stay at home. I oh, finished it. Really? I'm on season and, um, two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm rewatching it with my family. Ah. Yeah, I like The Office. It's fun. Yep. And maybe even with this quarantine thing, we'll be able to put out more episodes, record more often. Yeah. With an easier maybe. schedule. With no schedule, but... Obviously, but Yeah, maybe. but we'll figure it out. And we'll, we'll see what happens. Did... Oh, that's weird. I think we might have gone back in time because I have more time now than I said. Oh, oh nice. Okay, that's kind of weird. Okay. So uh, what, what else have you been interested in? So I told you this right before we started, but I don't know why. If you can get TLC, if you can watch TLC, if you have any platform to do that, oh, TLC. watch Extreme Couponing. <laughs> what, is, what is that about? What is Extreme Couponing? No, so it's about these people... I mean, it's mostly women, but there are a couple guys doing it, too. And they are extreme couponing, and it's, like, it's so ridiculous, but it's interesting. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> what, why would it be ridiculous? Do they just have, like, obscene amounts of coupons? Yes. <laughs> this is, it's their full-time job. There was one lady who spent 60 hours a week preparing her coupons and shopping. And- oh, jeez. How do you... How do you, like, hunt for coupons? No, see, so some of these people, Get- it, it, there's, a, there's a wide array of different ways to do it. Some people, they, you know, they buy newspapers, and they spend up to 2000 bucks a year on newspapers for coupons. Yeah, but they make, like, 5000 No, they, they save, like, 20000 a year on groceries. <laughs> it's insane. Bruh. And... Yeah, but other than that, um, some people go dumpster diving. How do you go dumpster diving and look for coupons? How do you find a coupon in a dumpster? 
because people throw away these newspapers or these coupon inserts, right? Oh. So you you Stop. go dumpster diving and you, st- you find the coupon. You start like mugging people for their newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> Or would they like go to their friends and they're like, "Hey, you got any coupons?" <laughs> it's all like attacking someone who withholds their coupons. <laughs> Don't hide them from me. There was this one lady who did, who went dumpster diving, who asked her friends, and she goes to foreclosed homes and takes the coupons. <laughs> <laughs> God. So uh, that sounds like an interesting show. Could it yeah. rival My Strange Addictions? Um, yeah, I've, I've dabbled. <laughs> you have dabbled in <laughs> Nice change addictions. So, I'm probably going to have to sign off soon. I think this was a good session. Yeah. Good to be back on the, Definitely. on the pod. The pee pod. And, uh, I'll see you sooner than normal. Yep. See, see ya. ya. Adios. Thank you guys for listening, I guess. Yeah. I've got a podcast recommendation. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's called uh, Posture Podcast. Oh, that sounds like a really good one. Yeah, they've got, <laughs> um, I believe they have six episodes up right now. Really? Yeah, I think so, too. Six Part two, I don't know when that's going to happen. Things are getting whack because we can't access Angelo. So, yeah, so. Uh, uh, that's probably not, that's probably not going to happen for a long time. So far, but for now, we will supply you with quarantine episodes, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.